Page 36, Barn Dance. This is a little piece, it's a very short little piece, it's actually played three times on this page. But the idea is to transpose it up, it's going up a half step. So you're starting out in C major, and you go up a half step to C sharp major, which has seven sharps. And you go up a half step to D major, and it's just going up, and that's as far as this goes, but you can keep going. Just keep going because you don't, your hands aren't moving around and you're just basically playing the same fingers you've been playing. And I'll, I'll come back to that in a little bit. Common timer 4 4 time. Let's start out in the right hand. As I said, you're starting in C major. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, and 3, and 4, and 3. And that G's tied. 2, 3, 4, 1, and 2, and 3. That comes on beat three. You have quarter notes in the left hand that'll keep the beat for you. So that fourth measure, one and two and three and four and. And on the second line, you need a two four here. Just come up a little bit. Because we got an A. And that's it. That's the piece. Left hand just has the broken chord. C quarter notes. Now the fourth measure over, it's just an F. Otherwise, it's, that's it. Second line. Wrist. Put the hands together. simple, which needs to be simple because we're about to make it hard. <laughs> Not yet. First let's do the articulation. The two new toes in the right hand, just linger on them. Play the, keep those up, don't cut them short. So you have stuck staccato in the left hand. Nice wrist staccato here. And staccato and an accent. Only in the right hand. Forth, put in the articulation. As far as the dynamics goes, let's do the melody. In the right hand, sort of soft. Left hand is soft. Makes the accented note sort of loud. Now you go up a little bit, sort of loud. Keep the left hand soft. It makes the accented note loud now. down is sort of soft. And the left hand is soft throughout this whole thing. Speed, well Allegro is fast, Automato is animated, so you get fast and animated. Well good luck with that. You need to learn it very well first before you start doing that. And it, it's a personal thing. It's going to be different for everybody. That's the easy part. Now we transpose it. That's what we're doing. We're doing the same fingers we were doing before, but now we're in a different hand position. We're in C sharp. These are the notes. These are the notes we're going to use. Just use the same fingers. Then you go up another half step. Listen, these, these. Same fingers. Go up, keep going. Go up another half step. Here, this. These, these notes. You have an A flat in there. So. Get the idea? Go up another half step here. These. See every every note just goes up a half step. So we got these two black keys in this one. This is for E major. Or another one, F major. 
major or and that's the idea of transposing I'm not crazy about it because you're simply reading finger numbers but you gotta know which black and white notes to play so you get the hand position down first it's like we're here and then the next one every one thing went up a half step and that puts us to here here you got an F is the only white key it's actually an E sharp but it looks like an F to me and then the next one you go up to the D position so as long as you know what the positions are you got it well playing the scales and learning the scales over time will teach you this because you'll know which notes are in, in that key because you can play the scale that takes time I don't expect you to do a C sharp major scale right now that's seven sharps eventually yes you want to be able to do that but not right now I don't know. okay now if you have really big hands and really fat fingers and you're not fitting up in here you'll have to make adjustments to the fingering when you're up in here to keep you out of here so I'll leave that up to you to figure out what that is because you, 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 you may have to start here this is for this the seven sharp thing and you go here just staying out here but you can't always use second finger on that because second finger needs to play that note too so you'll have to figure it out but unless you're playing this note you don't need to stay out here you can come in if you're only playing the black keys it's okay so you'll have to adjust your fingering as you need to on that as far as this goes you can do this in the left hand to stay out here as best you can leave that up to you to adjust the fingering on that one. Now I think there's an error in the music I pointed out on the last line in the right hand. It's the third measure over. Those two quarter notes are not staccato. I think they're supposed to be. They're staccato and all the others. There's no reason not to play them staccato here. I know in music it's common that when you have a repeated theme like this the last time the theme appears you change it somehow you can change it by dynamics you can change it by articulation you can change it maybe with ornaments adding ornaments or changing something uh, but I don't really think that's what they were trying to do I think that's just an error you need to stick play those two play those two quarter notes staccato I'll probably play them as written in the play with me but you can play them staccato I like to do a play with me here very, very slowly. I'm not doing the dynamics. I'm going to do it just the way it's written here. We'll go up all this thing. So go ahead and learn it first. Or maybe just try it one hand at a time if you need to to get an idea. But I'll give us four counts and let's try it together. One, two, ready, go. Mm -hmm. 